In Possible First, Cuba Allows March by Animal Activists Havana U on Sunday morning a group of animal lovers will march a mile down one of Havana's main thoroughfares waving placards calling for an end to animal cruelty in Cuba. Short, seemingly simple, the march will write a small but significant line in the history of modern Cuba. The Socialist Gov. Pits. There is no indication Cuba is moving toward unfettered freedom of assembly the state still clamps down on unapproved political speech with swift and massive police mobilizations, waves of arrests and temporary detentions. So a march by its. Since shortly after its foundation, the Cuban communist government has only permitted the existence of what it calls legitimate. The Animal Rights March is part of a wider change in the relationship between the Cuban state and independent civil society You Cubans trying to effect change in their society while making clear to everyone, particularly the authorities, that they have no interest in crossing the red line known as politics. In the year since Raul Castro handed the presidency to longtime party technocrat Miguel Diaz Canel in April 2018, churches, civil society groups and loose associations of like-minded acquaintances have been using the growing availability of Internet in Cuba to organize for various causes, and the state has been ceding them a small degree of freedom to operate. Artists pushed back successfully against a new law regulating artistic expression. Evangelical Church It's a 10-year-old private group known as Forest Guardians regularly organizes tree plantings and cleanups of rivers that cross the city of Havana, said organizer Ispal Diaz, a biologist. Last year, Diaz said that the group's first cleanup of the Malacan Promenade in 2010 had 14 members picking up trash as several dozen state security agents filmed, took photos and called out threats and insults. Activism in contrast, when self-employed taxi drivers went on an informal strike to protest new regulations, they were met with a flood of inspections that forced many to stop working. Animal rights activism has been a fertile field for organizing in Cuba, where these are no laws against animal abuse and virtually every neighborhood has a resident or two who dedicate hours to feeding, treating and sterilizing street dogs and cats, sometimes with the help of foreigners donating supplies and funds. The country has one officially recognized animal rescue group, Anaplant, and perhaps a dozen other small, non-state organizations in Havana and other major cities. In recent years, what? The march is planned to end at the grave of Jeanette Ryder, an American who fought for animal rights in Cuba at the start of 20th century. Anaplant has t in a sign of remaining tensions between the official and unofficial in Cuba, many volunteers from the government-backed animal group are boycotting Sunday's march and holding their own event next week. Michael Weisenstein on Twitter HTTPS slash slash twitter.com slash Weisenstein Associated Press writer Andrea Rodriguez contributed to this report. Smoking no cooking the hot pot. I get fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Looking up, open the park pot.